Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Spring Flowers stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is part of their new release that just came out. In fact, today's video is part of a blog hop as well. So before I did any stamping, I did an under layer of watercolor. So I'm going to walk you through all of the watercoloring. It's going to be sped up just a little bit so it doesn't take too long to show you the process, but I'm going to walk you through what I did. So the first thing I did was cut down a piece of Saunders Waterford watercolor paper to five and a half inches wide by four and a quarter tall. And then I taped that down to a hard board so that I could do lots of water heavy washes on top and it would prevent a really severe warping of the paper. So I taped that all down and then I did a wash of water all over the entire piece of paper. I dropped in a really faint colors and then I used my heat tool to dry it just a little bit. I wanted it to just be slightly drier than completely wet, uh, but I didn't want it completely dry either. I wanted it just sort of in between. And then I dropped in a clear, clear, clean water. And what that did was it pushed away the color and made really, really pretty blooms. Dropped in a, a few more areas of more intense color and then used my heat tool to heat set that. So now I've taken the different stamps from the stamp set and I've stamped them onto the watercolor paper in Versamark ink, sprinkled on a little bit of Hero Arts white embossing powder, and then heat set that with a heat tool. This is going to give me a nice bright white design of all the stamps, and it's also going to help me when I start watercoloring. It's going to give me a guide for where all those colors are going to go. So I'm going to take the watercolor piece and put it back on the board because I'm going to be watercoloring on top. And I'm just using some 3M blue painters tape to do that. I like to use this blue tape in particular because it really holds the watercolor paper, but at the same time, it's very easy to remove when I'm done and it doesn't tear the paper. The watercolor paints I'm using today are from Windsor & Newton. These are the art professional artist watercolors. And I'm mixing some custom colors on my palette off to the side. Um, these are kind of more muted and toned colors. And the way I'm painting the flowers and leaves is I'm bringing in more intense color into the center of each shape. And then I'm getting my brush wet with clean, clear water, dabbing that off on a paper towel so it's not super wet, and then bringing it back over to the piece and sort of uh, pulling that color away from the edges of each shape. So that's how I'm getting that kind of intense color right where the flower shapes are, but then I'm pulling out that color off to the sides. I think it's a really fun look and it uh, just screams to me watercolor. Uh, you can't really do this particular effect with other types of mediums because watercolor is transparent. So it's going to give us a really fun layering effect as, uh, as I pull out all of the different colors. So the, the kind of tealish gray color that I'm adding now is a mixture of a couple colors. I'm using a turquoise color and I'm, I mix that with a tiny bit of black. And I'm also using the full strength of that teal color because I wanna get a nice intense shade and have enough color that I can spread that out around each of the leaves. I'm adding more and more water areas just to get those blooms kind of coming out. And that smaller flower off to the side was looking a little bit anemic, so I brought in a little more color. And I'm going to pick up my brush with some color and bring it over to the piece and just tap it with another brush so that it puts on little droplets of color. I'm, I did that with a couple colors. I did that with the more corally color and then also the leaf color. And then I also used a Distress Sprayer to sprinkle on some water droplets. I picked everything up with my paper towel just so it uh, didn't make it so, so intense. And then I dried the piece. I removed it from the board and trimmed it down to be slightly smaller than the original size. And I'm going to use this little tiny thanks stamp from the cute snowflakes stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I really just wanted a really small greeting for this card so that it wouldn't interrupt that large watercolor area too much. So I've stamped the thanks in Versamark ink onto some vellum. And then I sprinkled on some Hero Arts white embossing powder. It's the same embossing powder that I used for the flowers. And I heat set that with my heat tool. And then I cut it down to be a really narrow strip. 
um, and I also cut on off the end so that it's at an angle. This is going to give me a nice shape to have it come in off the edge of that watercolor piece. So I'm going to take that little tiny thanks piece and put it up to the edge of the watercolor paper. And then I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher Stapler to just staple this on. Because it's vellum, I don't want to have it glued down. I really want the vellum to kind of lift up from the watercolor paper a little bit. It gives it a little bit more of an airy feel. The card base I'm using today is made out of Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 110 pound version. And I just scored that at five and a half to create a side folding landscape card. I then put a bunch of foam adhesive on the back of the watercolor piece and I'm adhering that down onto the card base. So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said before, this is part of a blog hop for Simon's new release. So make sure you head over to my blog and you can hop along to all the different stops on the blog hop. There are some giveaways that Simon Says Stamp is giving away, so you won't want to miss those. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will be back with another card video very, very soon. Mm -hmm.